Mr. Robbins, thank you very much for the moment you've given us. Sure. Um, tell us, uh, I understand your social justice is a part of your life. You've always been into this social justice movement. Could you tell us how you got started? I grew up in Greenwich Village in New York in the 60s, and my dad was a folk singer, so that's how I got started. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now you're involved with Bernie, Cam Bernie Sanders' campaigns. What motivates you to be part of and promoting Bernie's and Bernie's ideas? Because I don't think in my lifetime I've seen a candidate uh, running for president that has, has said the things that he's saying, um, that is advocating for what he's advocating. Usually we get a kind of um, um, moderation uh, in, in our candidates. And uh, what Bernie is speaking about is, are, thi are things that I've believed and been advocating for for years. And it's, in a way, uh, the most beautiful thing about the campaign is that I have seen how, how many millions of people have been galvanized by this message and it makes me feel great that so many people want large change. So many people are working very hard for, for this to happen. This hasn't happened in the past and uh, that's why I am, I'm here, that's why I'm working to get him elected and that's why I believe we are in a very special moment in our history and a very important moment where we could go down one path or another and I am encouraging people to go down the Bernie Sanders path. And we are here in Long Beach. Uh, as you know, there are about like 1.8 million people being registered new in California for upcoming primaries on June 7. What would be your message to the younger generation, those first time they're gonna be voting and they're getting involved? I, I, would, I would encourage everyone that's voting for the first time to, um, to go early, to not be discouraged, uh, to uh, demand the right to vote, to not take uh, provisional ballots, um, to, uh, that if they are registered and they've checked that they are registered at that particular district, that they should, uh, they should demand to vote. Sometimes people are giving information at polling places that is not accurate. And you are in Long Beach, and thank you very much for traveling long distance to come over here. Yeah. <laughs> Your message to Long Beach people, especially Bernie Sanders' campaign. Well, first of all, um, my dad was grew up in Long Beach, so I, I have ties here. My grandfather and grandmother lived here. Um, I would encourage everyone in Long Beach to come out and vote for Bernie. Uh, it's uh, so necessary. As a beautiful uh, city in, uh, that is on a coastline, uh, I think it's absolutely essential that we protect our coastline and we protect our beaches and protect our ocean. And I think the best candidate to do that is Bernie Sanders. Thank you very much. Harrison here with you, standing with Tim Robbins. And of course, this is a pivotable, pivotable? Pivotable moment. As we make up new words in the English language here. Bernie Sanders running for president, really a massive change in the way we've even talked about politics in so many years. I don't think anyone could have imagined it, and certainly the DNC didn't imagine it happening and uh, creating uh, uh, a movement across the country for real change, a real big change, which is what we need at this point. Uh, we're, we're, I think millions and millions of people coming out responding to what Bernie was saying is an indication that people are not okay with the uh, status quo and with the establishment candidate. And it's been a thorn in the side for the DNC, and it's been embarrassing for them. And the media has been um, ignoring it and uh, marginalizing it and um, trying to ignore it. But when uh, 300 people come up, show up to see Hillary Clinton, and 30,000 come out to see Bernie Sanders, it's something we really have to think about. And the DNC has to really think about that. Right. And, and here we have media. I mean, every one of us has it in our living room or on our iPhone or iPad. And somehow conspicuously missing is the guy that all the humans are talking about. Like, he's been purposely deselected. What's the upside of making a guy like that disappear, I wonder? Well, I don't know that I would characterize it that way because on our, on our devices, we are able to share information. And, and I think the reason why he has uh, not disappeared and has been so prominent is because of social media, is because of the new um, expression uh, of news through uh, the internet. 
the mainstream media can do whatever it wants, and, and it is, but you can't ignore this movement because it's present on all of our phones. It's, 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 it's something that, we, there's been a shift. Uh, the shift happened in, in uh, started in uh, 2003 when millions of people came out protesting a war in February that hadn't happened yet, a war that hadn't happened yet. That was the internet. In 500 cities across the world, millions and millions of people came out before a war had begun to say, we do not want this war. That's never happened in human history before. And that led to the Arab Spring, and that led to Occupy, and that led to this. And what it is, it's a new form of news media. And it is emerging, and it is becoming stronger and stronger. And the mainstream media, if they ignore this, are con going to continue to be more and more irrelevant. You know, it's fun when we look at actors who study the human condition to the point where you replicate it so brilliantly that we actually believe you are whoever you say you are on the screen. And when you study the human condition this much, and then you make choices as to which of the humans are good choices, it really is kind of deep for us. It's like asking Einstein, what do you think of God or something? You know, we look to people who've actually studied how humans function. And there's so many people who observe this guy as being really different from the other candidates, I think. Yeah, I'm no different than uh, any of the millions of people that have, 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 have reacted to Bernie and, and, and responded to his message. In fact, it was my sons that, that got me involved in this. Uh, quite a few months ago. Uh, their energy, their excitement about it overcame my cynicism and my uh, reluctance. And uh, I, I remember being their age. Yeah. And I remember possessing a passion and a wisdom that older people didn't have. And uh, it's not like, it's not like age doesn't matter. We, we, in, in this country, we too often disregard the wisdom of our elders. But we also should listen to the young, and we should listen to the, 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 their concerns. And that's why Bernie's message has been overwhelmingly received by the young people in this country. Brilliant. Thank you, my friend. Okay.